Anti-tank guided missile. I think this is a perfect shot. Fire. Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Call to Arms Gates of Hell Osfront, the Hot Mod 1968 edition. Uh, we are bringing you our Soviet vs. Chinese campaign, and this is mission number 12, going on to the defense, and should be a pretty exciting one. Last time we unlocked the mechanized Spetsnots, which uh, looks pretty pretty exciting bringing in some bmds uh the squad itself is pretty awesome the squad leaders for the spetsnaz all have the same rifle as the marksman along with some binoculars marksman himself has his uh vss vinterez and then an rpg man a demo soldier who has a grenade launcher not sure what else he might have and then a machine gunner with a pk machine gun so Fairly decent machine gun. Um, I do want to eventually unlock the Spetsnaz Heli Assault Squad. I think that'll be pretty exciting. Um, I did change around our Collins a little because we are on the defense and I like to have the slower elements and the elements that I absolutely need in defensive positions at the beginning of the battle. To be on the battlefield right away. I did ultimately make the decision to sell the Katusha. Uh, as fun as that thing is, it's a World War II era rocket launcher. It's not technically Soviet anymore, even though it once was Soviet. So I just want to get rid of it. I want to. Get, I, I. I'm fine capturing certain items as long as they are items that we can actually use otherwise anything else we capture we just sell for the resources call in one we have our lucky marksman who's been around for quite a long time we have two 81 millimeter mortars one of them was lost in the last battle so I had to replace him combat medic a rifle squad on foot two of our captured wz305s or zsu 57 twos Two Spetsnaz sniper teams unfortunately lost one of them in the last battle. And then a Spetsnaz recon element, which is essentially a Spetsnaz sniper team with an RPG rifleman and a squad leader tacked on. But the squad leader has the same weapon as the uh, marksman, so essentially it's two snipers, a spotter, and an RPG 7B. Pretty cool little element. Call in two is our three T10s. Really love these tanks for wiping out hordes of infantry, with it, which the Chinese seem to have just that hordes of infantry. Two more combat medics, and then our last stolen WZ305. Uh, call in three, we still have our PT76. We'll probably use this until it explodes because the BMD basically replaces the PT-76. It has a very comparable, actually it has a way better main gun, even though this is 76 millimeters and the BMD is 73 millimeters, it has much more punching power. Um, then it also has the ATGM launcher and a little machine gun right next to the main gun on the turret, and it can transport our infantry. Speaking of that, we have two of the mechanized Spetsnaz assault teams, along with a Spetsnaz sabotage element, which is essentially a leader, a demo soldier who has that uh, grenade launcher, and then two of these RPG 7V soldiers. Uh, two tank crewmen, a rifle squad on foot, a ammo truck, and a single T64 round out column 3. Call in four is three ammo trucks, combat medic, and five T-64s. So pretty basic on this. I really like this because the T-64s are very quick. Um, and I really like that. They can go 61 kilometers per hour, whereas the T-10s are 37 kilometers per hour. So I like the T-10s being on the battlefield first as they lumber into position 
and then the T-64 is right in, sort of, you know, rescued by the cavalry. Our support, we have just an absurd amount of stars. I need to start using this support left and right. We have two smoke screens, 520 millimeter mortars, and 322 millimeter artillery. So let's get moving here. Uh, I like this. Lots of uh, resources, and it'll be some research too as a secondary. Let's just start rolling forward some of our men. Let's move this rifle squad up here. I'd like a sniper team over there. I would like a marksman maybe over here. And then on the other side, the other sniper team about right there. And then this special team maybe... Uh, I don't necessarily know where to put them yet, actually. Where are weapon crews? I would like our mortars to probably be in this courtyard. I think that's a great place for them. And then a T-10 up here. The other T-10 maybe right here. And then... That one's already moving up. A ZSU-57-2 there. And then another ZSU-57-2 maybe just right here. Yeah, right there. I think that should be... Somebody didn't receive an order. You are going... up there. So... I believe that's you who didn't receive the order. It's a little weird, I thought you received one. Let's put... this medic... Maybe back behind this building here. And these two medics could go back over here. And I don't know why you are struggling with this move. Let's grab you. Put you sort of actually. Okay, squad lead, go there. RPG. Why are we microing this much? Let's um let's spread you out. You're the spotter. You can go in that bush. And you can go there. This sniper can go here. I would like you to position really about there if you can. I'd like you to be very much like that. Spotter there. Sniper there. Um, okay, here's the issue here. I doubled up on my T-10s on this flank. Oops. Alright, we really need to figure out this squad. What are you? Marksmans? I like that. I don't necessarily like having you out of there. Probably put one of you here, 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 and maybe something like that. Maybe move you along 
I think that looks pretty good. Sigmetics looking good there. T10 knocking over light posts. Need the mortars to actually deploy. Oops. I accidentally touched the unit. Um, over here. I would like probably an RPG here. The spotter to be over here. And probably marksman in various spots in these trees if I can. Yeah, one, one there. All right, I think I like how that all looks. You all need to get on your mortar. I'd like you a little more like so, and then I'll have you dig in. I like those guys that far forward. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe the, the spotter, yes. Actually, the spotter, I would like you to go more central. And I would actually like this marksman to go up here. And you're a spotter, right? No, you're not a spotter. I would like a, that spotter to go there. And the sniper to go there. Next call in. Great. I would like a T64. That uh that final call in always kind of does a little number. Or not even the final call in, just uh that like middle call in, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of does a does a little bit of a number. You need to go babysit some mortars, and I also need the mortars to dig in, and I would like this infantry to move up over here. What are you? You're the Spetsnots. I think I would like you all. Alright. T10, you really need to move into position. Your position is right here. There comes some enemies. I would like you to move up. I would like you to move up over here. Those T10s are doing work already. This is our special squad. I would like them to maybe move up over there. Tank crew, um, you can hide behind there and you all can hide behind there. See what's happening over here. See if I need to call in any mortar fire. This looks pretty good. Promising so far, though. I would like... Oh! That was rough. We lost the RPG right there. We have infantry moving up. I would like this to move here and we will be deploying and I think just creating little screens like so is perfectly fine. I would like you to unload your special horses. We have gunfire going off in the middle. I would like for this tank, or the, uh, what is it called? A BMD. It's not really a tank. It's 
So what is this? A Type 59... Well! Uh... Okay. There goes our PT-76. So... Let's move this up. It needs to engage. Engage, engage, engage. I believe that took it out. Okay. I would like you to go about here. See what's happening over here. I believe we took out uh, just a little gun. Load another round, it's still somewhat active. Okay, that should be completely taken out now. Type 63 moving up. Um, we do need to... ...figure out what to do with all of you. And I think maybe something like this. I absolutely need that to go away. So we will be launching. We're probably taking some massive casualties right there. Yep. Sure did. But all of this will disintegrate in a moment. And I do want to see this. I can hear the artillery's, uh, artillery pieces firing. And here they land. So that one went off. There's a... Rocket launcher around here. Looks like we got it. Those rocket launchers are absolutely devastating to us. Um, they are- they cause a lot of problems. Because whatever was over here, which I think maybe was my... Might have been my Spetsnaz RPG element? Uh, well, it no longer exists. We're going to dig in this Spetsnaz group. We are going to spread them out very liberally. I keep saying I need to move this team out because if they die in there, that would be horrific. I actually want to move this back slightly. I would like the T-64 to sort of be the, the first thing that the enemy sees. And then... I would like RPG guy there. I don't know what you are, so you'll be here. Um, I would like the modder to change some of the symbols. It's an infantry push. I don't feel terrible about an infantry push. That's a heavy tank moving up, a ZT7, ZTZ-79. Hopefully we can... Uh, well... No. Let's smoke it. So it needs to push forward. Our T-10 did nothing. Uh, and our T-10 is probably going to explode. We need an artillery barrage over here. I don't know what we have against... Oh, can this fire its missile? Come on, fire fire your missile. Uh, two? Anti-tank guided missile. I think this is a perfect shot. Fire? Amazing! That looks so cool. It didn't do enough though, so we need the second one. And I would like that second one to hit roughly in the same spot. I think that was enough to take it out. I'm not entirely sure. We will be moving T-64s forward to take over the remnants of everything that was destroyed. Those ZTZs are pretty fun to face. Um, I did not position you guys, so that's unfortunate. 
think if I move you all up and then if I move this T64 to about here just in case there's a counterattack on that side move you up looks like there is artillery coming in our snipers are taking care of it let's move all of this up definitely need a reload on all of this did our guys actually move into their well except for the squad leader squad leaders don't like to dig their own ditches for whatever reason so we will move you up and do that and another t64 i would like um i would actually like this is this dead dead no but all the crew are dead where's my crew back here let's have you all fix that up the last t64 i think We have a T10 back there. Trying to think where I want this T64. I am thinking... Really, I'm just thinking over here. Actually, nice spot right on the woods. Move this up. If this thing moves over here, I think that'll be perfect. Then our truck can move here. You just destroyed this man's foxhole that he spent so long building. Let's just uh, mortar this. As I said, we have a plethora of support choices so might as well use them there goes the weapon crew you can see it in the kill feed kill feed world explode there are some infantry over here i'm a little bit worried they're going to retake this rocket launcher so let's make sure that doesn't happen what is this why are you what why the most complicated order ever to just move here? The rest of this crew needs to move up because that ZSU... Oh, we need a medic. That medic's a little far. How about you move up there? And you go rescue our Spetsnaz sniper. I would really like him to not die. And unfortunately, I think this defense is about over. ET-63 coming in. I would love if that was something more meaningful. 14.5 AA gun rolling down the street. I imagine one of these will pick it up soon is that an Ichi shell? should have an Ichi shell hmm T64 I'm not impressed with how it shoots ooh saw something Another ZTZ 88A. Very cool. It's like it missed its first shot, and now it's being hammered by just about everything. Hopefully, we hit it again. Type 60. Doesn't look like anybody is shooting at it. But love. Oh. That is a very strange position, so it doesn't have a good shot. 
Oh. This is a weird little hill. Can you move back? I mean, it's it's out. Spent all that time and it's, uh... It's dead. It's dead, Jim. It's a big crater. I wonder what that was from. Uh, we are being hit somewhere. I mean, it's these guys hitting us. I find a little bit amazing. Alright. Looks like that's taken care of. Is there a gun here that... Oh yeah, there is. Our crew was lost. And probably just stragglers at this point. Looks like there were a few more interesting things this time, but still not a... Somebody try to remount that? That is not repaired enough to my liking. RPG demo. So what does a demo guy all have? Interesting. And then bandages, frag grenades. I'm assuming that's ammo for his grenade launcher. And he has two knives because why not? Um, 14.5, nothing special. Sniper got one. Sniper... No. The A gun took it out. Speaking of which, needs to fix itself up a little. And I think I will start scavenging the battlefield. I imagine we've sort of gotten to the point where the enemy doesn't have anything left. Which is a shame. I would like I would like more to happen. It's what two so 62, two ZTZs, and that 59. A lot of infantry vehicles, nothing too crazy, unfortunately. That's a shame. I would really like a extreme challenge. Not even an extreme challenge, just a challenge. I mean, a ZTZ blowing up my T10 is whatever, my PT-76, okay. I mean, none of that to me is... Oh, I need a medic over here. That's so weird that somebody here went down. Alright guys, I will pause the video here and I will come back after I have salvaged the battlefield. Alright, we have scavenged the battlefield. A few cool little things here, so ZT7's ZTZ79 along with a 82mm mortar, 14.5mm anti-aircraft gun, Type 63, Type 62, an 85mm anti-tank gun, 122mm anti-tank gun, we'll probably keep that. A ZTZ-88, which we were unable to capture because they must have tried to remount it and the very last hit uh, took it completely out of action. Speaking of out of action, this T-10 could not be repaired. Uh, we did repair our ZSCU 57-2. We captured this little 
Type 63, actually, I don't think he's gone in it, so I don't know if that counts as captured. Another uh, CSU 57-2, we'll add that to our arsenal. I like those. 152 millimeter, uh, I imagine that this is an art like a howitzer type. Yeah, that looks more like a, a true artillery piece as opposed to a anti-tank gun. Uh, we recruit that just so it wouldn't bug me on the map. And over here, we did completely lose our PT-76. This Type 59 hit it. Uh, I actually didn't think much would come this way, but had something on the hill just in case, and well, it was a good scout. It it told us that the Type 59 was coming. Uh, unfortunately, it exploded. I guess we blew up a scout car and captured a Type 63, and I believe that is it for captured equipment. Uh, a lot of equipment was exploded because I was a little judicial with my, or judicious with my artillery shells. We're down to one smokescreen, 122, and two mortar barrages. But we have tons of stars. So let's, let's finish up here. Still wanting a push from the Chinese that is like very aggressive as opposed to what is going on here. Let's see what rewards we have obtained. So 2,283 resources, not too bad. More stuff. More support stars, the ammo, not a big worry because you see how I end the battle with everything within the supply truck. Only 3.8 research, so that is unfortunate. Um, let's remove all this stuff that we 100% don't want. Yeah, this is... 152. Let's see where that sits on ours. No, that might actually be an anti tank weapon. Yeah, I think that's actually an anti tank weapon. Especially because the barrel's horizontal. Unsure. I will get rid of it. I know this is an anti-tank weapon. The long barrel, like the short barrel of the other one makes me think it's a howitzer. The Type 59, very light on armor. I don't get why the penetrations are all messed up when it comes to this screen, but if it was in this screen, the penetration values would be correct. A, this is a cool little tank. We tracked it. Took a decent beating from us. Um, those look incorrect. Oh well. And then the Type 62, I believe, has no armor whatsoever. Yeah, it's just a glass cannon. Hey, okay, let's, uh, let's remove the stuff that we absolutely do not care for. We will keep those. Only four on the research tree. Rather unfortunate because, oh, well, maybe not. Gives us what we need. How much does this cost to recruit? We will probably only be able to afford one. Well, we could afford multiple. 29 manpower, 
2,310 resources, but you get this bad boy. Squad leader, once again, seam gun as the marksman, two RPG 7Vs, demo soldier, PK machine gunner, and Bob, the generic rifleman who has a giant backpack compared to everybody else. So what on earth is he carrying in that backpack is a very good question. So that's exciting. We'll just already add that. This will be in the next battle. Guaranteed. Maybe even two. Maybe even two. We shall see if the next battle is the last battle. Um, I really just wanted to test out the, the helicopter. And maybe we'll just save the T-80s for a campaign where we face the Americans. Uh, if I do another campaign, definitely a few things that will change we will not be going down this tree or this tree that was just a complete waste of resources i will probably still go down this tree because svetsnot snipers are great but we probably will still go down this tree i might do some math here we will definitely go down the T-80 tree. The T-80U is superior to the T-72 RBR, OBR-1985. And if we face the Americans, they eventually have access to the M1 Heavy. And that thing is a beast. And seeing as we won't... Like, in, in the American campaign, when we salvage stuff, It'll be sold. We will only be using Soviet equipment. The only reason we don't sell this stuff is because this is literally Soviet equipment. Like, I don't care that it's a WZ-305. Our soldiers would know how to use it because it's exactly the same as the ZSU-57 too. Same with this 122mm. The Soviets probably manufactured these and sold them to the to the enemy but yeah t80u would be in the works for the american campaign i'd love to grab a shulka i think the so152 could be fun i don't really understand all the differences between the supply trucks um what else as i said i we'll, we'll see how this helicopter goes um this seems cool having the atgm seems cool but if they're not cool enough then just going down the rifle squad to like the bmp 1p would get you an atgm not as good could go down the guards where you uh, gain access to the bmp3 that sounds really tempting but basically none of this garbage, none of that. And then the amount of stars you receive in these campaigns is insane. I need to move into this faster, at least the 120 millimeter mortars faster. Um, I mean, those are big mortar rounds, they're fantastic. And then grabbing 122 millimeter artillery, also fantastic would love to grab the bigger artillery but that's that's all right anyways thank you for sticking around hopefully you enjoyed this episode i know the battles have been a little bit easy but hey we lost a pt-76 and a t-10 so things are getting hard right right me maybe not we lost a mortar crew weird Anyways, thank you for sticking around, thank you for watching, and until next time. If you enjoyed this content 
and would like to see more, please like, subscribe, and comment below.